There was a blind rider living in a town where the only pastime was television. The blind population of the town was notable even at that time, but only recently the loss of sight had been directly attributed to television. Television is still the only pastime in the town. The rider went blind early on. Being somewhat intellectual, his attention turned to thought. After completing his high school education as a member of the first graduation class of the town's new blind school, he was able to obtain through the mail a collection of philosophy and literary works presented in Braille. He, with his best friend, his best friend who, was who was also blind, started, started a philosophy group. The group was called the New Idea Society. It would meet each week on Tuesday evenings at 7 p.m. to discuss new ideas. At about this time, the blind rider was diagnosed as having a rare and incurable vocal cord infection. The infection had no real symptoms except a slight and intermittent cough, but would eventually and completely take the afflicted's ability to speak. Blindness was as rampant as television, and soon the New Idea Society had more members than it could conveniently accommodate with just one meeting each week. So another group was formed to handle the new members. It was decided that the blind rider would meet with the long-term members and his best friend would meet with the new members. The splitting of the group symbolized growth and it was an exciting time. The New Idea Society decided it would hold a special ceremony to recognize the growth spurred division of the group as a significant event in the congregation's history. The blind rider's best friend was elected to deliver a speech at the ceremony as he had a very strong voice and the best friend would compose the speech as he wrote so well. The blind rider went to work right away on the speech for his best friend, but on the day of finished the speech, he received news that his friend had been electrocuted while trying to plug in his mother's TV set. The blind rider was so shocked upon hearing of his best friend's death that he was stricken with post-traumatic stress disorder. The disorder manifested itself in temporary, however, total loss of hearing. unable to even hear his own voice, which he was in constant jeopardy of losing as well. The blind rider decided to finish the speech and deliver it himself as a eulogy at his best friend's funeral. The funeral happened to fall on the day the New Idea Society growth ceremony was to take place. So the ceremony was postponed in honor of the blind rider's best friend. Every member, new and long time, attended the funeral. After some music by an accomplished blind pianist, it was time for the eulogy, and the blind rider, with the help of his best friend's mother, made it to the podium. The blind rider gazed out over the gathering and prepared to speak. The speech had been written in braille on the rider's typing machine, and his fingers studied the composition one last time. He coughed a little, then began to speak. At that precise moment, when the blind rider opened his mouth to speak, the vocal cord infection that he had been diagnosed with early on came full circle, taking his voice completely and for good. But his current trauma-induced deafness kept him from knowing, and he just continued to mouth, mouthing the words to his best friend's eulogy, his speech. Then, and as, as quickly, quickly as his hearing had left, left him at the news of his best friend's death, the blind rider's hearing returned to find him mouthing at the podium to a blind audience of mourners and a few confused others.